To add a recipe, click the recipe book, click the pencil on top, we'll change our description to, in this case, wings. Our first step is preheat, that's fine, we'll click the green check mark. I'll drag another step up and we'll cook for 35 minutes at 370 degrees. Then I'll add a final step as a hold cycle and we'll change that temperature to 200 degrees. Then we'll click our green check mark and that recipe's in there. If we want to delete a recipe, we'll click that recipe and click the trash can and answer yes. To start a cook cycle, press the recipe book, select the recipe, click the start button. The oven will remind us to change the fat container, which I already emptied. So we just need to hook it underneath to collect the grease and click continue. The oven will preheat, uh, at which point it will give you a chance to load your product so you can begin the cook cycle. This is the water collection cart. There are hoses on back. On the inside are two compartments, the wastewater collection area and the freshwater collection area. There's a hose included with your water cart. Connect that to a water source and connect that to the far right hose on the water cart. There's a float inside the cart so you don't have to worry about an overflow. Just start the flow of water. Once the cart is full, bring it over to the rotisserie Connect the other two hoses, and all three of these hoses are different sizes, so you don't need to worry about uh, hooking anything up to the wrong location. To start a clean cycle, press clean, press daily clean. It asks us to place detergent, and this is a two-stage cleaning system where we will first place the detergent packet inside the oven. And if the oven's too hot before we place the detergent, uh, the oven will alert us that the oven needs to cool down. The second step is the caustic. We'll remove the tab and lid. I didn't remove the lid here because I only have two hands, so make sure you don't skip that step. And we'll attach the cartridge to the inside part of the door. Once we've done that, close the door and click continue. After the clean cycle is finished, remove all the baskets or spits, depending on what you're using. Take out the two filter baskets. And if there's any debris on these filters, go ahead and wipe that down with a cloth. Uh, come back over to our filter baskets and clean the undersides of the deflector trays. Clean the filter basket itself and reinstall. Then we'll disconnect our water cart, which will look like this or there will be some clamps on the side of your water cart to connect the hoses. We'll bring the cart over to a floor drain, open the valve, and empty out the wastewater. Occasionally, you'll want to use the hose to clean out the inside of the wastewater compartment and drain that out the back. 